Easter Jeep Safari is turning the big 5-0. And we're celebrating in some of the most iconic lands anywhere on Earth. I'm Darren Kinder. Follow me as I take you to the party and follow some first-timers on their inaugural rock crawl. We'll also get up close with some new Jeeps you'll never see on the road. From there, Steve Human finds a wrinkle in off-road exploration that you're going to want to discover for yourself. Finally, Reese Stein is in Marrakesh tasting some local flavors you might want to avoid. Own the outdoors right now with At Your Leisure. your leisure i'm darren kinder and i'm here with ruben from bfg and we're down here at the easter jeep safari for their 50th anniversary and we're giving our hillside 4x4 a little bit more workout and uh why don't you come on and let's see what this event is all about So Easter Jeep Safari is this event that's in Moab that brings Jeep enthusiasts and Jeep owners from all over the world, basically, to Moab to, to try out their Jeeps in a, in a sanctioned, organized event that we call Jeep Safari. I think they have 25 or 30 different trails that you can do over the week. Plus, a lot of the automobile and parts manufacturers come to Moab to kind of show off what's new and exciting in the four-wheel drive world. When you're here, you have a the, your captive audience is here. It's the place you want to be to show everybody what you have. If you're newest, your baddest, your best, you can put it on display here. Whether you go to the arena or whether you're out on the trails with manufacturers, it's a really special thing for me. It's where I first learned how to drive off road back in 1996. I came down here with my brother with an old Toyota Land Cruiser and was able to go out on trails with people that were excited to teach me, excited to watch me perform and do well and encourage me to do better and I mean I have to look back on one of the, the best and greatest learning experiences of my life happened here. You know what's great about Moab is that there's a trail for basically any skill level out there from the beginner from someone who ha doesn't have a whole lot of four-wheel drive experience to that person who wants to take their four-wheel drive to the limit. You know, if you've never been to Easter Jeep Safari, it's a great place to come and check out what's new in the, in the Jeep industry, in the 4x4 industry. Plus, you're meeting with people and hanging out with people who have the same passions and disease that you have of, of driving Jeeps. And it's, it's a great way to come out and check out all the new products. We're all in this together. We all have a common goal, whether it's land use issues and want to keep this land open and available for us to all go and enjoy. Uh, or whether it's uh, we hang out with our jeeping buddies or our Toyota buddies or whatever, our buggy buddies, we all kind of you know stick together. Yeah, we have packs or different families or groups within the family, but we really are all together with a common goal. And, and it's just to have fun being in the outdoors, doing what we love with a motorized vehicle. It doesn't matter if you're a first-time or you have a fully modified <laughs> buggy like that, you're going to have a ball down here at EJS. One of the things we're going to check out a little later in the show are the brand new Jeep prototypes. They've got some of the coolest things you've ever seen. They let the Jeep engineers just make whatever they want to make. But right now, we need to get to our travel adventure. Hey guys, Steve Human here. Now, when you're traveling through eastern Utah on Highway 40, you're going to come to a place called Duchesne County. Now, this is a vast area that is pretty much undiscovered by most explorers. There's lots of trails, lots of roads, and we're going to give you a little glimpse today. Now, for most people, when they're on a trail or a road, they want it to be as smooth as humanly possible. Well, I'm with a group today who wants their route a little bit wrinkled. Some rides you find what you expect, while others take you in so many directions that you end up seeing things that challenge your ideas of what an area can be. That is what I discovered today as I set out into the wilds of Duchesne County by Canyon Trail and Dirt Road. Well, we took an ATV and a bike ride down in one of our favorite areas here in Duchesne County, Nine Mile Canyon. 
Uh, we started at the uh, Gate Canyon and worked our way down to the bottom and then up to the bottom and looked at a few petroglyphs and then up to Frank's Wash. It's pretty rough. It's doable on an ATV or a motorcycle. It's something that, you know, your everyday rider gives them a little bit of uh, challenge. It's great. It's, it's open roads, it's public lands, and it's just a great all-around time. Frank's Wash brought us up from the bottom of Nine Mile Canyon, and as we hit the higher plateaus, we came upon Wrinkles Road. And suddenly, the vistas completely changed. Instead of canyon walls on either side, the world seemed to fall off on our right and open up into the very clefts we were climbing earlier. Canyon after canyon spread out to our view, and as we weaved along the edge, it became clear how the road got its name. It just follows the baseline of these canyons here, all these little canyon fingers you have to go in and out of. That's why it's called the Wrinkle Road. My guides today are no ordinary group of explorers. The Duchesne County Sheriff and his crew lead the way on Wrinkles Road, enjoying the beauty as much as I am, but doing their jobs at the same time. Duchesne County geographically is really large. It takes you know, a lot of time to, to be able to cover as much area as there is in Duchesne County, so it's nice to be able to get out and drive these roads, make sure that we're not having any problems. Certainly we don't want anybody destroying what we have out here. We try to keep that from occurring so that everybody can enjoy it. Now we've ridden up Nine Mile Canyon a little ways. We've stopped at a place called Daddy Canyon. There's a lot of petroglyphs here you can see all over the place. You can come up here and explore. The great thing is that the BLM is currently proposing to turn this into an ATV trailhead so you'll be able to ride all the way up this canyon and see all this stuff. That will be a lot of fun. Those looking to explore the adventures in Duchesne County will find everything has been made easy for them. There's even luxury Winterton Suites in both cities if you want to make a longer stay out of it and experience multiple adventures. I've raised my kids here. It's very, it's a friendly environment. It's very family oriented. It's a good place to visit and bring your kids. There's lots of places to camp and ride four wheelers and fish and be with your kids. This opened up a whole new world, one I will definitely be exploring in the future. From the big city to just drive a two or three hours and be out here. People drive to uh, Zion's and those other places to see those deep canyons and this is in our right, right in our backyard. The Nine Mile Canyon Wrinkles Road area is spectacular as you can see. We were able to show you a great adventure. You need to come out here and enjoy it with your family. It's really easy to find this trail as well. Basically right off of Highway 40, about a mile before you get to the town of Mighton, there's the Nine Mile Canyon turnoff. You take that toward the south for about 20 minutes and right before the pavement ends, there's a little staging area on the left. You can unload there and hit this trail. Plus, as we mentioned, you can stay in Roosevelt or in Duchesne. There's plenty of hotels and restaurants. This is a great place to explore, bring your families, come out here and spend a week. Well, I'm Stephen Hewen for At Your Leisure. We need to take a commercial break right now. When we get back, we're going to have a product review. There's a little place on a Utah map where I was raised, where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows wild and high. The stars come out at night. Oh, there ain't nothing like being raised in the basin with a youth reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life. I'm Chris Haller, Utah Division of Parks and Recreation Off Highway Vehicle Program Coordinator. And today we're here to talk about how you can protect your brain. A couple key things when selecting a helmet is to make sure that it's DOT approved and that you check the expiration date. Yes, helmets do expire. Typical expiration date is between five and seven years. Visit our website at ohv.utah.gov for more helmet information. Utah State Parks, adventures for everyone. Polaris. 
Whether you're chasing unforgettable memories, manhandling a mountain of work, or pushing the limits of work and play, we've got the perfect machine built just for you. Now's the time to get rebates up to $2,000 during the Polaris Spring Sales Event. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're taking a little break from the trails right now, and we're taking a look at these concepts from Jeep. And you may never see one of these on the road, so you're really gonna wanna pay attention because these are really neat Jeeps. Every year we put together a group of vehicles to just let the customers know that we get it. This event, the Moabie Street Jeep Safari, is absolutely Jeep. It's all Jeep centric, so it's important for us to be here and let the customers know that we still get it. Check out these cool concepts we built for you to see, for you to check out, and we ring them on the trail. So this is the Jeep version of a Hellcat. It's called the Trailcat, and it has this massive supercharged motor putting out over 700 horsepower. That'll make your Jeep go anywhere. It's covered in like a lime green and black stripes, and of course it's got a 707 horsepower Hellcat engine with a manual six-speed transmission, which is just unreal. You can check these out, these Hellcat uh, gear shift knobs. So this CS150 is a 1960s old Jeep pickup, as you can see. But what they did is they pinned it under a brand new Jeep frame so it drives and rides just like brand new. But don't tell Chad this, we get to take this out and go for a spin. Now this is something that every one of you guys can go out and get. This is the Trail Storm, and every part that's added onto this, you can get from your local Mopar dealer fender flares, the, the tires, the wheels, the lift kit, uh, the interior components, a special top, and even the graphics. And, and that's actually based on a Wrangler four-door. But the idea was to show everybody the different Mopar parts and things that you could build right at your dealership and drive it right off the lot already built up. It's not all about the concepts. Jeep unveiled a new Grand Cherokee that you'll be able to buy soon. This is the 2017 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. All new, we just unveiled it about an hour ago. This vehicle right now is at its normal ride height. It can raise up two inches to 10.8 inches of ground clearance. So if you're in a situation where you've got to crawl over a rock, you can raise the vehicle right up, get over it, lower back down to normal ride height. We like to come out here and show our diehard loyal fans what we're doing at the Jeep brand. So while we do it out in New York at a big press conference, we like to come here where our fans are and our customers are and the people who are passionate about our brand and show them what we're passionate about. And that's vehicles like this, the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. And now to end with my favorite, the new Crew Chief. And this thing is awesome. It's a four-door, so a crew pickup for the full bed in the back. It has one-ton axles on it, Dana 60s front and back. It also has a winch in the front and a winch in the back. And check out these controls in this thing. It is so cool. So when you look inside here, you can see they put the switches for the ARB lockers, front and rear, and the compressor all up there on the top. You have a compass, which I don't know when the last time I've seen a compass, or the next time you will see one. And some of the other neat things, they put a canvas inline on the seats, cloth top, and then look at this bed back here. Tons of room, tie downs, and uh, these really cool old military tires on it. Now these concepts are a whole lot of fun to come down here and see, but when we come back from our commercial break, we've got some brand new Jeepers out on the trail learning the trade. If you look up epic in the dictionary, it's defined as heroic, majestic, or impressively great. Here in Kane County, Utah, we don't need a dictionary to tell us that. We live it every day. Stop reading about life and start experiencing it in Kane County. ATV adventures, Jeep excursions, hike a world where the Old West was yesterday and tomorrow is just over the horizon. Kane County, Utah, where epic is more than just a word, it's our way of life. There are certain types of people out there who put everything to the test. For them, we built the Can-Am Maverick XDS with the first factory installed turbo. It delivers 121 horsepower, impressive suspension travel, and exclusive Fox shocks. It's engineered to ace any test, including yours. Can-Am, the ride says it all.
family time? Friend time. Your time. You've been thinking about getting a machine, but which one is right for you? An ATV, side-by-side, -side, or dirt bike? Stedman's Recreation has Utah's largest selection of Honda, Polaris, Yamaha, and Beta machines. See them all at Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. Need a tune-up, new tires, or want a winch? Stedman's Service Department can help. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, I'm Darren Kinder, and we're down here at Easter Jeep Safari in Moab. We're down here with BF Goodrich Tires and our Hillside 4x4, and we're having a great time. But we've met up with some people down here who have never been out jeeping for. Some women, it's their first time, and some other guys. So what's really cool about this experience is they get to go out and get some instruction, learn how to do it, and learn how to use their Jeep. Come on, let's take a look and see how much fun they're having. We're very excited about today's event here at Area BFE. It's a combination of BF Goodrich tires, Raceline wheels, and Poison Spider coming together to offer the experience of a lifetime to 20 guests that were new to Moab and or new to their JK. So most of them were actually new to both, which was even better. Pretty nerve wracking at first, but they had excellent spotters. And of course my husband, he helped me a lot. <laughs> I took a chance and did it and very proud of myself. I felt like I did good today. I didn't mess anything up or break anything. The guys know what they're doing and they have so much confidence. It was a no-brainer driving through the technical spots. I enjoyed the spotters. They gave us good points how to get to certain areas. They gave us some different techniques for working the pedals. You know, we taught them how to two foot and we taught them how to think about where their wheels are at and what they're doing on an obstacle and you know where is the obstacle and how to look at things a little bit differently than just okay let's hit the gas pedal and go rock crawling. <laughs> if it's your first time make sure you're doing a trail where there's a lot of spotters because if there's if you're going out by yourself and you don't know what you're doing I definitely would not recommend that. It's just been a fantastic thing to be invited out here and everybody we've ran into out here have been fantastic real friendly people it's nice. I'm not used to stepping out of my comfort zone, and so I did today, and you just have to, I mean, you just have to do it, and it's, I would encourage it. So many people are seeing how awesome it is to get off-road and, you know, enjoy the scenery, that it's really not hard to find those people, but then at the same time, the, the people that have the expertise, we need to take a step back and say, you know what, yeah, we go do this every single day, but we need to take time and pull some people under our wing and you know, help them grow up into the next level of enthusiasts. Well, if you'd like to check out some of these Jeeping adventures, you can look at the Easter Jeep Safari or you can come into any of the Jeep places. There's all kinds of clubs that can get out, get you out on the trail so you can have as much fun as we're having because I can tell you, sometimes when you can stand it up on a few tires, it really gets the heart going. It's, it's lots of fun. But right now, we need to get to our trailhead adventure, brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today, we head back to Morocco to continue our odyssey through this diverse and exotic land. I'm Reece Stein, at your leisure in the kingdom of Morocco, riding in style through the chaotic city of Marrakesh. Marrakesh is classic Morocco, a crossroads of history and modernity bustling with crowded markets, squares, narrow alleys, and towering minarets. It's the city to visit in this narrow strip of land on Africa's northwest coast. Oh, Marrakesh is a feast of sights, smells, sounds, and activity. Just amazing place. University of Utah executive Myron Wilson is one of 15 Americans, including purely by chance, seven Salt Lakers on a tour with overseas adventure travel. Marrakesh is the climax of our two week long visit. The heart of old Marrakesh is the huge main square called Jama El Efene, one of the most important squares in all of Africa. It's been the market and trade center for a thousand years. It draws people from around the world musicians, acrobats, mystics, monkey trainers, pickpockets, and snake charmers. After dark, the pulse quickens. A massive food court is erected every night, stall after stall offering local delicacies. They let me pick out the fare for tonight's feast. Chicken, fish, shrimp, skewers, and of course the national dish, couscous. First, the appetizer, boiled snails, a must try, and not really too bad. 
The spices add a snappy taste if you can get past the slimy texture. Pretty good unless you hit a soggy one like I did. Ooh. How does it taste, Reese? Tastes like snail. Very good flavor, Reese. Just pull that sucker out with your toothpick. Nice salty flavor. Tender. Very nice. I think I'm going to be very healthy now. That's what I hear. For dinner, we sit family style and the waiters bring plate after plate. Olives, peppers, meats, spices, skewers, and a Moroccan stew called the tajing. Don't ask for beer though. Alcohol is scarce in this Muslim land. Stall 41 is a winner. The food is great, the price is right, lots of fun. Adjoining the square is the Souks, the mall of Marrakesh, and the largest traditional market in the country. A honeycomb maze of alleys that twist and turn seemingly on end. An uncountable number of vendors, shops, stalls that go on forever. Thank goodness for GPS, we'd still be in there. Buried deep in the labyrinth is a favorite, the ancient souk of the dyers, where wool and cotton fabrics are colored using historic methods. Beyond the old Medina, outside the city walls, an urban oasis, the Marjorelle Garden, a 12-acre paradise of palms, cacti, succulents, and towering forests of bamboo. A gift to the city by the man who bought it and saved it from development, French fashion icon Issey Laurent. Marrakesh is sensory. It's um, seeing the dancers, it's listening to the music, it's smelling all of the food, it's looking at people. Um, it's, it's just great. It's sensory overload. <laughs> Our visit includes a restful stop at the Ketubia Mosque, largest in Marrakesh, and a tour of the opulent 19th century Bahia Palace, built by the Prime Minister of the Sultan. Here, a visiting grade school class is thrilled about the success of the University of Utah basketball team. This trip was so enlightening. It, was, it opened my eyes to a whole different culture. I didn't know a whole lot about Islam. I knew some but I found people who were so warm and welcoming and willing to share not just their culture, but their language and their religion and teach me all about the country and you can see how much they love it. We'll have more on this amazing journey in coming weeks. Reese Stein, At Your Leisure, Marrakesh, Morocco. Let's be honest, you don't know much about Beaver County. Well, let me tell you about it. It's the birthplace of outlaw Butch Cassidy and inventor Philo T. Farnsworth. Some of the best skiing in Utah is at Eagle Point. You've got camping, Canyon Breeze Golf Course, Crusher in the Tushers, Beaver Territorial Courthouse, Snowmobiling, Renewable Energy, Pioneer Car Show, Squeaky Cheese, Ghost Town Six Floor, Best Water in the Country, Paiute ATV Trails, Old Frisco Kills, Horse Race, Hunting, Fishing, and it's a good place to live. Beaver County, mountains of fun. I could tell you more, but why don't you come and see it for yourself? Ray City is the only dealership I'll ever deal with. They're fair and they're not pushy. Every experience we've had with Ray City has been hassle free. I enjoy when they come in and they let me know they're happy. And if they're not happy, I want to make them happy. I'm excited about it. I think we have a lot of inventory out there to show people. We got some great employees. Ray City is the only place you need to go to get an RV. place that is beyond words. There is nothing to be said, except take your time in Bryce Canyon country. What a great time to get out and ride the ATV and UTV. Summertime's here. However, some of the key things that one can do in order to prevent an accident or an injury on these is to know your machine. Sometimes when you're on an ATV, you have the ability to shift your weight and move around. On a UTV, you're somewhat restricted do a couple of things. Read your owner's manual, take an education course, and become familiar with your machine and start slowly. 
Utah State Parks, adventures for everyone. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're down here at Easter Jeep Safari, and of course it's over for this year, but make plans to get down here next year because this is really a great time, and you can see it absolutely how beautiful it is down here in the in the spring. There's snow-covered mountains over there, and the beautiful sunsets going to happen over there. So, you know, it's really fantastic. Right now, we need to discuss about our Razor giveaway. Get into Weller's, Stedman's, or Triple S Polaris and get signed up. We're going to be giving that thing away. We've extended it a week, so you can get in there and get your extra points and get signed up. Now remember, we're going to be giving away that Polaris 900 Razor in the next few weeks. So get into Stedman's, Triple S, or Weller's and get signed up as soon as you can. Right now, we need to go to our sticker winner with Chad Booth. Thanks, Darren. Flashback. Do you remember when we were at the Tri-State OHV Jamboree a couple of weeks ago? Well, we spotted a Razor that was just stickified like crazy with AYL stickers with an X14EN license plate number right there. There you go. Guess what? You are our weekly winner. You are getting a $400 gift certificate towards the purchase of any Rifab product, which can be used on your Razor. This is a great line of products. You are going to be very happy, but... First, you got to call us. Give us a call at our office. You are the winner. Well, congratulations. Hope you enjoy your prize. Make sure you call us right away at 801-947-8888. Right now, we need to look at next week's show, though. Why is it best to enjoy a resort town right before it becomes a famous national destination? Because you have the experience to yourself, and that's what Chad and Rhea are finding out in one week as they get to know Tickaboo and how this area is evolving into the next big hotspot. Then, come with me, Stephen Human, as I ride ATVs in the Canyonlands area, finding epic beauty along with a father and son who are searching for the perfect weekend. Well, we've really had a great time down here at the Easter Jeep Safari. You know, we banged up the machine a little bit, did this, that. But what's really been fun is seeing where all these people come from, man. We've seen people from South Carolina, Georgia, Puerto Rico, Canada, you name it, we've seen a plate for it down here. So it's really fun to see all these nut jobs kind of get together and have a good time. We'd really like to thank VF Goodrich Tires for taking us out today and showing us a good time, but more importantly, taking the time to show these new drivers, you know, different tips, different ways to get around. That allows, you know, some of the ladies that want to try this and some of the younger people who have never done it before, it gives them that opportunity. But most of the events you go to have the same kind of thing. They have stuff for the beginners to the advanced, so if you want to come out and try it, you know, definitely get out there and create your own adventure at your leisure. So it's really, it really has been fun. I don't know, I, oh, I got thank. I got to remember thank. Who this week's sticker winner is with Chad. Sorry, my voice kind of... <laughs> Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week, so you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here, and that way they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com, and from there you can find out which television stations we broadcast on so you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget we have really cool contests.